In this SketchUp tutorial, I want to go over how you use the push-pull tool. So in previous videos, I've gone over the line tool, the rectangle tool, and how you can start building things up in three dimensions. But we can actually use this tool right here, the push-pull tool, to actually do a lot of that work for us so we don't have to construct it by hand. What I'm uh, going to start with is just a plain rectangle, and we're going to draw that on the ground. So I'm going to start in between this red and green axis here. I'll just click and pull my mouse out, and I will make a 10 foot by 10 foot square. When I do that, what I've created is essentially an object with five parts. I have four edges and a face. If I want to select any of those, I need to go up and grab my black selection tool or hit the space bar. Either one would do that. Once I've done that, I can see I can click on each edge or the face. And I know the face is active when it has that sort of shaded dot pattern on it. If I want to pull this up into 3D and make an actual shape out of it, what I can do is come and grab my push-pull, or I can use P as a keyboard shortcut. I will click on this face, and I can just simply click and let go, and it will be attached to my mouse. So I can either go up or down from where I am. So I will say maybe 10 feet and make a cube. All right. And now we have something that's three-dimensional. We could have made this more interesting while we were drawing it on the ground to have a more unique shape, but one of the beautiful things about SketchUp is that you really have this fluid process that you can you know, come and go and keep drawing things on the surface as you, as you work, so it's not, um, you're not so stuck. So I might go and grab my pencil and divide this shape up a little bit. When I have my line tool active, you'll see that I can basically snap to any of these edges, these lines, and when I start to just ride along the edge, it will grab to it and be red. That just means I'm on that edge somewhere. When I get to a corner, it snaps pretty hard and turns green. That means I'm at an end point of a line. And if I come along, you'll see that it'll actually snap to the middle as well. So I might just divide this uh, surface here, this face up in half. So I'll just click here and then down at the bottom. And I know that I'm perfectly vertical because it's turning blue. So I'm, I'm parallel with that blue z-axis. So I'll click, hit my space bar to get out of that line command. And now I've divided this face up into two parts. I can see that if I click on this face or this face, they're two separate sections now. If I want to you know, make more of a unique shape there, I'll use my push-pull tool, click on this face, and pull out. And I could say that I want to go this direction, five feet, enter. And now I have a you know, more interesting shape than the cube. I could grab this and come this direction and go three feet, enter, and so on. And at any point, if I want to divide this up again, I can simply grab my pencil and start drawing. Right now we're keeping it simple and just doing midpoints. We'll get into using the tape measure tool later. There, you can see it's very easy to manipulate objects in SketchUp based on grabbing their faces and letting the edges do all the work. Now, if you've accidentally deleted a face, if I select that and hit delete, first of all, you'll see that inside it's actually hollow. When you create uh, objects in SketchUp, they're hollow, and you'll see that the inside of the faces are this purple color and the outsides are white. If you've done that by accident or you've created a shape and you want to close that in, there's a simple little trick you can use. You can grab your line tool and just basically redraw one of these edges. And when you do, SketchUp will close in that shape for you again. So if you end up with you know big holes somewhere, something, something like that's happened, if you just redraw one of those edges, you'll be good to go. So that's using the push-pull tool, keyboard shortcut P, to create three-dimensional objects.